People say that I'm very good looking. People say that I'm very striking. People say that I'm exotic. So people say that I look like a freak. My name is Rodrigo, I'm 31, I'm from Brazil, but I live in London. But I'm much more of a happy man, thanks to cosmetic surgery. And I'm just like a Peter Pan, and I'd like to be like this forever if I can. I'm always looking ageless, and that's my aim. Oh yeah, my Laputans, my dancing shoes for tonight. I'm a transatlantic flight attendant. I do have an amazing lifestyle. I travel the globe. I live in London. I shop in Dubai. I sunbathe in Miami. I dine in LA. I party in Las Vegas. I buy my collagen products in Hong Kong. I love going to India for spa treatments. I'm very lucky and very fortunate. I really don't take this for granted. When I was a child growing up in Brazil, I was fat, I was ugly, and I was misshaped. I wasn't happy at all. I knew that cosmetic surgery was available, but I was far too young. When I moved to England at the age of 20 years old, I found myself surrounded by beautiful people and people buy what is beautiful. But I wasn't beautiful and then I had to do something about it. Then my first surgery was a rhinoplasty, a nose job. Once I started to change myself throughout cosmetic surgery, I started to become a much better person. People wanted me because I was happier, I was confident. And then I just carry on enhancing. I have my entire jawline reconstructed, three nose jobs. I have permanent fillers on my chin, in my cheeks to give more of a chiseled look, in my nasal fold and in my lips as well. Stem cells hair growth treatment, silicone implants in my chest. I have had four liping suctions. I have the most perfect six pack and then I had my calf reshaped. I think that to date I must have spent nearly two hundred thousand dollars. I'm dying to have another rhinoplasty because I had a fillers in the bridge of my nose. So now my nose is totally out of shape. The tip of my nose is far too thick and the bridge of my nose is far too low. So my nose has to be fixed. Basically I was botched on the nose. I would like to have a thin little tip, like a thin, symmetric, delicate nose, and that's what I want. I just want to be the best that my body can allow me to be. I'm a very expensive man, so I would never let myself go, darling. I'm always under maintenance. Every day I do the blue light. The blue light kills the bacteria that triggers blackheads and whiteheads. And the red light, it is to accelerate the production of natural collagens. I do my laser hair comb, I do my teeth white as well. I'm always looking for the latest procedure. I'm always the first in the line for everything. So give me, give me, give me. I just don't have time to go to the gym. So I invested in this amazing Compax EMS electrode machine that I apply on my legs in order to exercise the muscle. So I have nice firm legs. It's not the most comfortable thing. It can be painful. I don't do the EMS electrodes on my upper body because of all my silicone implant. I think that uh, maybe it can be dangerous. After working out, I treat myself to my bath. My bath it is with roses and the milk and coconut. It is great, it's amazing. I learned it when I was in India and it's very good for your skin, makes your skin nice and smooth, makes it glow. Life is to be lived, and that's what I do daily basis. First of all, welcome. How did you find us? You are the best that you can possibly get nowadays, and <laughs> I'm very concerned about the shape of my nose. I have had three uh, rhinoplasty. In between, I had the fillers, permanent fillers in my nose bridge. You didn't have that in this country. No, it right. was done in Brazil. What else have you had done besides your nose? Well, four lipos, two of these lipos was to design a six pack. Right. So where it's dented, it was a zero, it was sucked a zero percent face. Right, right, we call that abdominal etching. Rodrigo looks like the Ponce de Leon of plastic surgery, right? He gets on his ship and he's gonna go on a plastic surgery adventure and let the wind blow him where it will. Do you feel that your nose has been botched? that you've had absolutely. bad surgery? Yeah, absolutely, and the, the tip is shaved off, I believe. And what I wanted was this symmetric, little, thin, delicate nose, and that's what I was dreaming for, and uh, no one has ever been able to provide me with that. 
and after having so much uh, rhinoplasty, nose job, yeah, yeah. I would expect that my nose, one, would expect that my nose would look so much better than what it does right now. My question to you is, has that changed your mind at all about having more injectables in your body and more surgeries and anything else like that? No. But cosmetic surgery made it the man that I am today. I'm the fruit of my imagination. I'm everything that I have always wanted to be in my life. I love myself today, and by loving myself, I'm much more confident man. And then I'm able to portray that to people around me. So these are pec implants, yeah? They are pec implants, yeah. And where were the incisions The incisions there? under the arm. Armpits, okay. Armpits, yeah. Like that. Yeah. What is amazing, though, is that you don't work out, you're not in classic good physical shape, right? That's Yet right. Yet you have the abs of someone. I know. This can go very badly. You look amazing. Oh, this, thank you. Oh, this thank is so you. good. I think that was the best thing that I have ever done, yeah. cosmetically speaking. Yeah. Good, let's go ahead and put that on. Let's, let me take a peek at your nose here. So that ab etching really worked on him. Maybe for Paul, since that sort of diet exercise thing isn't working, he can go to some faraway country and have that done too. Not a bad idea, maybe. What do you think of my facial feelers? Do you disagree? Uh, I, I think good? they were done expertly and in the manner which you like, right? I mean, for you, it's what you like. Yeah, it's what you like. Let's just talk about the upper part of your nose. So the bridge of your nose has been overdone. Okay. It's asymmetric. They took too much of the hump down, uh -huh. OK? Um, the bones were not broken evenly. And you uh -huh. actually caved in a little bit on your right side. Now let's go to the problem part. Yes. Your skin is extremely thick. So for me to do your nose properly, mm -hmm. ear cartilage is too soft. I would have to take a piece of rib. And with the way you've done all this work, you'd have a scar, a big scar <gasps> right on the chest. It's eight pack. Well, a little bit higher, Never. but yes, I mean, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 you don't touch it. I paid a lot of money for this. Right? This was okay. the best investment of my life. As you can probably tell, I have changed a little bit. Well, it's slightly upgraded. I have had my nose done three times. The brown lift, am I lift, my jaw reconstructed again, silicone chin implants, my ears pinned back, my chest silicone implants replaced. I have had 42 plastic surgeries and I have spent 305,000 English pounds, the equivalent of $450,000. There have been so many memorable patients on Botched. One of my personal favorites is Rodrigo, the flight attendant who is stylish, international, and one of a kind. We caught up with Rodrigo to find out what he's up to. Check it out. Hello, Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubro. It's uh, Rodrigo here again. I hope you guys are well. I was on episode of Botched. One of the most amazing things that happened is this. Little me. Yeah. Everything is amazing how they were able to capture. I was contacted by this artist based in Los Angeles and they produce figurines of uh, celebrities and personalities. And then I felt very flattered. It's amazing, it's perfect. That's exactly how I look. Even my package, they got it right. It is really amazing, isn't it? I wish it was bigger though. <laughs> Guess who's back? Rodrigo! Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Rodrigo? I am well. It's wonderful to see you How again. How are you, my man? I'm very confident that Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubro will be able to perform a very simple, quick procedure, and then I'll be able to breathe again and gain the perfect little nose. What we remember, the style, a little bit slimmer, sleeker nose, and you had a problem breathing, and I said I couldn't make it smaller, but I can fix your airway, and I needed a piece of rib. And I remember you had some sculpted, beautiful abs, and you said, no, no, no scar here. Ever since I have had three rhinoplasties since we met. Wait a minute. We, we just saw you less than a year ago. Three revision surgeries in one year? That's crazy. I can't believe he even still has a nose. It takes one to two years just for your nose to heal after one surgery. I found out that Iran is the country number one for rhinoplasty. The doctor, in order to perform the surgery, he used cartilage from a bank donor. Cadaver, Cadaver bone. bone. Cadaver, Cadaver cartilage. Cadaver cartilage is sometimes used for the nose when you don't have good cartilage from the actual individual. After a month, my nose started to become smaller yeah. and smaller and shrink. I went to see a doctor in Spain. The doctor said, well, 
you have a bacteria. Yeah, most likely, the type of bacteria that I see that eats cartilage way in the nose it would be called MRSA, methicillin-resistant staphylococcus. Yes. And that is most likely what you have. MRSA can enter the bloodstream and called sepsis, which is bacteria inside the blood, and pretty much shut every system down in your body and kill you. The fact that you've had so much surgery in the past that you basically disrupted so much of the blood supply and then put a piece of dead tissue in that, that that caused the whole thing to die. Hey, can I have that spike you There you go. <laughs> There's no way that's going to fit in his nose. Put your back for me. Oh, boy. Nope, I can't see in there. And nope, I can't see it there. There we go. His nostrils are so small, and after what he's gone through with the MRSA, this is probably one of the worst results and complications that I've seen in my entire career. All right, so let's talk about your nose. Yes. I feel like crying right now, but I'm trying to... Okay. I need you to be strong. I'm holding back not to cry. Listen, the thing is, Rodrigo... Because I'm actually very extremely worried. That's why I'm here. The issue is that what we call the soft tissue envelope. That's the skin. Right. So by you having three surgeries in a period of 12 to 15 months, destroyed your tissue, the skin's no good. My nose was perfect after this last rhinoplasty. And my friends, they never had any problem at all. And I was the unlucky one. So I keep asking myself now, why me? Your nose on the inside, you have no airway. And it's short, so this is all scarred together. And now since you just had surgery three months ago, it's gonna scar down more. It's in a, a healing phase. But if you try to insult your skin one more time now while it's healing, yes. there's a high possibility that if you let one of these doctors touch your nose now, this will turn black and then die and fall off. <gasps> Our goal is to educate patients and protect them. The smartest thing that Rodrigo can do now is listen to us. Wow, doctor, so it's much more complicated than what I actually thought. You know, I, have, I have a little bit more news for you. So, besides using rib, the skin here from your tip down here is contracted. So we have to replace the skin. The simplest way is to take this tissue here and lift it up and reconstruct this area. Uh -huh. And you'll have this piece of tissue attached to here, because that's where all the blood supply is, for about six to eight weeks. I'd rather be botched and live to the rest of my life if I know that doesn't work and just breathe into my mouth than look like Frankenstein. If you have any hope of keeping your nose, we're as serious as a heart attack, Rodrigo. You touch your nose now, the chance you're gonna lose your entire nasal tip and possibly more of your nose is extraordinarily high. So do not do anything for a year, nothing. Chances are that his nose will die and fall off. If he doesn't listen to us, it's game over. Mr. Marigo, we like you. We want to help you, and we, and we will help you. We got to, you have to wait a year. I will wait a year Good to man. see you again. Yes. Yes, and, and we'll take uh, no more surgery. It's a little bit frustrated going back to England, knowing that, that I wasn't able to get a solution today. But I just need to find ways to live with it now. And two, I'm ready to go through another operation to fix the current issue. What have I done to myself?